Hey everyone, it's Sam with Red Hills Rerun, and today I'm gonna to go over my numbers for February and give you 10 items that sold for us. Okay, first let's talk about numbers. So the majority of my, the items that I sold were in the electronics and the clothing category. We sold a total of 74 items for a total of $4,752.29. So 22% of those items are electronics. The electronic sales totaled $2,445.82 or 32 cents. For clothing, they accounted for 21.62% of all of our items sold, but they brought in $813.19. So those two categories, electronics and clothing, account for most of the items that were sold. The remaining items I just put under like a miscellaneous kind of category. And they account for 48.64% of sales and they brought in $1,493.78. So looking at this information, I can go into it. So when I look at my electronics, they brought in a lot more money than clothing or the miscellaneous category. So I've made a decision to kind of back off on clothing and go more into electronics and the other miscellaneous items. So let's take a look at 10 completed listings from the month of February. Okay, first up we have this Abitron BDI 2000. And it's a high speed debugger interface. It's used by our electrical engineers. And yeah, so I was able to buy four of these for I think they were $20 each or $25 each. And the first one we sold for $129.90. And but all the remaining ones we sold for $164.94. I came across this bag of Tom's conditioning cream, shave cream, and there were originally 44 available. Yeah. So we sold 19. We there's 25 still available. We sell them at $12.95 a piece and we do free shipping with them. So they actually didn't start sh selling until we dropped the price from 12, uh, I think the price was at something crazy high like $18.95 or something and we dropped it to $12.95 and we also added free shipping. So they ship first class and, and we only created one listing for the shave creams that's a, a nice sale. I think we sold two or three of these in the month of February. Next we have a Kenwood KA-8006 amplifier receiver. And this we sold for $149.97. It wasn't all working, it wasn't all there. Um, the pi I think it's called the pilot light. It's uh, this little light right here. It's on the left side. It didn't light. And then I think we only, the only thing that worked was the auxiliary one input, like no other inputs worked. So we sold it as is and it still sold for $150. The next item that we've had for a while, I think about nine months, it's a 1980s Diamondback Redline ABA number one bicycle frame. And it came with the, the forks, the frame, and the, um, the handlebar mount just because I couldn't get that out of there so I was, so I was like oh, I'll just sell it with that stuff in there. Um, I bought the original bike for $40 and it had the original rims and the crankshaft and the pedals and the seat and the brakes and uh, I think we have sold everything now except for the brakes so this we sold for $250. Next is a great sale. This actually sold for 100, uh, best offer of $137. It's a 1940s Oregon Ducks football jersey, number 50. And it's a Wilson tag. Yeah, there's no tag under the neck. So this was the only one that we had to go off of. Did a lot of research on that one. This was an item that we bought at the bins. So it might have paid at most $1.50 for it. That was great, great sale. So in my haul videos, I like to show everyone the 501's distressed Levi jeans and it doesn't matter if they're made in the United States or if they're made overseas. 
my lowest price that I sell G the 501s for is $34.97 or $35. So these, they have quite a bit of wear or distressed look on the front, fading. And these were made in the Dominican Republic. For all my Levi's that I list, we use the same keywords. The only thing that we change is the size and if it if it's made in the USA then we say USA in it or if they aren't 501 double X then we'll remove the double X next is the Epson stylus photo 1400 printer this printer is used and it was tested working a lot of times we'll for these bigger uh, this is called a medium format printer so for these bigger medium format printers the ink isn't super expensive, so we might spend like $15, $20 for the ink and test them to make sure they're working correctly. We always include USB cables to go with it. I think we sell them for around $150 to $200, depending on the model or the condition of the printer. We've sold quite a few Epson, the Epson 1400s though. Next is a Tektronix RFA 300A measurement set. <laughs> so this, I have no idea what it's used for. I just know that electrical engineers use it to, I think, test circuits and all that kind of stuff. So this isn't for the hobbyist. This is for like the, the professional engineer who, we had this listed for $2,895.95 or best offer. And we didn't have any offers for the longest time and this month we got an offer of $500. And I also had free shipping on there. I only paid $35 for this. So I said, yep, I'll, I'll sell it for $500 at a deep discount. Cause like the only kind of testing that we do on these is powering them up and that's it. So we, like, as you can see, we provide a, a picture of the screen powered up and then the adjustment knob was missing. So it's, it's kind of like a as is scenario. So this is a sale from a large die cast collection that we bought from someone. We've been selling five or six die cast models a month. So it's moving relatively well. It came to about $5 per model. And this one sold for $19.94, which is a good kind of sale. And last but not least, it's a Star TSP 100 thermal printer for receipts. So this one, it has a USB connection to it. So you can hook it up to, I guess, a regular computer. And this one we bought at the bins for $1.50 or maybe $2. And we sold it for $99.94. So that's it. Thanks for hanging around in this deep dive going over sales for February 2019. I appreciate you watching my videos and I hope that it provides you with the necessary information to get better items for higher sales and increased profits. So if you appreciate the information that I provided, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Have a good one.